Hey everyone, I just woke up, so I am going to make some breakfast today. I'm definitely gonna have to chug some water, so I'm recording it for accountability. And then I think I'm gonna make some avocado toast this morning because um, I'm tired of eating eggs. And then I'm gonna make a smoothie. And then after that, I think I'm gonna relax a little bit. I'm gonna clean around my apartment today so I can have like a clean apartment for tomorrow because tomorrow's my first day of law school. So I just wanted to film this um, like day of my life before law school, like getting prepped. I have to do some reading. I have to read like 12 pages for a class. And then um, after that, um, I'm probably gonna, I wanna finish this Netflix show that I've like been binge watching, but at the same time, there's such a glare in my glasses. But at the same time, I need to hurry up and watch it because it will take me like five hours because I don't want to be watching the show um, while I'm in law school because I'm going to always want to take a break and watch the show. Anyways, it's called Peaky Blinders on Netflix. Most people will be like, why are you watching that? But I don't know. I like that show. Anyway, so I'm going to go drink a cup of water right now and then I'm going to make my smoothie and make my avocado toast. So good morning if it's morning time for anybody, but it's morning time for me. So good morning. Okay, so good about to drink my cup of water. Don't mind if this is behind me, but I suck at drinking water, as I've said literally every single day, and I'm gonna keep on saying it until I'm good at drinking water. <laughs> tastes so good it's probably because it has banana and milk in it and that's not um whole milk i drink almond milk because i don't like whole milk but cheers there was no more uh, there was no more <laughs> my avocados are not ripe so i can't eat them today maybe i'll eat them tomorrow for my first day of law school but i'm about to eat some eggs and bacon and finish my smoothie drink a water and i'm so excited for later because i'm gonna be eating out yay i'm gonna have pf chang's I'm so excited. Anyway. Here we go. This is before. I'm going to show you guys the after. Okay, so we just bought this um, lemon like essence thing, and it smells really good to make the upper arm so fresh. But literally everything is clean, and everything is mopped and clean. So now I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm repping GW. Um, what was I gonna say? So I'm gonna have. Dude, I just, I, well, not just noticed, but I do have a crack on my tooth, and I need to, like, get that situated, but, oh, just wait. I'm not going to see anybody because school's online, so I really don't go anywhere except the grocery store, but um, I'm about to warm up some tortellini and, well, the rest of it, because I had it for um, dinner yesterday as my lunch, and I'm so excited to have Pia Chang's for dinner. <laughs> you have no idea. I've been trying to eat out less. Even though technically yeah, I actually ate out yesterday with some students from my school. It was actually pretty chill and fun. But um, I'm going to warm up that tortellini. I'll show you guys how it looks. I need to stop doing the... Uh, I literally need to stop doing a thumbs up. Before I finish eating, I think I'm going to um, sit down and read for contracts. He wants us to watch a video about... Um, I think it's a mermaid song. And he wants us to like see how it relates to contract law i guess it's based on like the reading that we have to read and then we have to read a rule supplement book for sections 1 and 17 and then we have to read 12 pages in our case book my case book hasn't arrived yet i just ordered it and it says it's gonna arrive in about like four days so that's really good so that i can get reading for that class i have that class three times a week and that's literally my only class for tomorrow which is contracts and it's in the afternoon so i don't have to wake up early but tuesday i only have class from 8 20 to 3 40 p.m oh my gosh and it's gonna be like grind 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 on tuesdays and thursdays wednesdays i have three classes instead of four and then fridays i only have one class so i guess it's like three um days of like long long days but then two days of short days which is pretty good i like that mondays or fridays are like less i don't know if that makes sense but at my school at my previous school tuesdays and thursdays were always longer for me but yeah my tortellini is ready. Okay, so I'm about to eat my tortellini. I put a lot of uh, Parmesan cheese on top, but I really love tortellini. It's, it's really good. So I'm about to eat this and then start reading for, for contract law. Yay. 
adulting my camera's about to die but i just finished submitting an like application for this mentoring program with this like big law firm in washington dc and i think it starts like in october so hopefully they get back to me and um my mentee is awesome and then now i'm about to go read for contracts i'm going on the gw law portal so that i can get my readings because i haven't got my textbook yet so in law school if you haven't gotten your readings at least for my school they put like the first two weeks uh worth of readings online so that um you could read and you're not going to be behind but uh i know some students in a different inn i'll tell you about that a little later they're getting cold called tomorrow but my first time getting cold called in my contracts class is going to be in november because it's online so it's a little different and it's structured that way to make sure everybody gets called and because online it's a little bit more hard, harder and annoying to get cold called so i'm excited that my first cold call for contracts is going to be in november and it's august okay so we just got some takeout and i got some ribs there's some fried rice in here and there's some honey chicken and some white rice and I'm just gonna eat this for dinner tonight because I wanted to like not cook and just keep with my clean home I, when I cook at night it just so messy so I'm gonna eat this for dinner and I've been um I've been eating I've been eating oh my gosh I have been reading for my contracts class I need to cover this hat but every time I go out I put on the hat because I don't feel like combing my hair but um I've been reading for my contracts class and I have about 12 pages left so far they're just talking about like what contract law is and stuff like that and so um i'm jotting down notes let me show you how my notes look so far they look like this um my notes will improve i'm kind of writing down a lot but i just want to be prepared just in case like the professor asks questions or something and i want to like know what he's saying but i'm sure over time my notes will get like smaller and smaller but this is so far how the reading looks and I'm on this this part of the section and we're talking about the structure of contract law, but this is like how the readings look. It looks like kind of like a normal textbook as you would get in like college. So it's not that bad. It's it's probably the cases that have like, they're like double-sided and they're um, take up like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's more difficult. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish my reading for contracts and eat. Well, I'm gonna eat first and then finish my reading and then I think I'm gonna call it a night. Okay, so I made some tea. I made some, uh, what tea is this? Um, it's called I Love Lemon. And, um, wow, well, focus. And what's the other tea I took? Oh, ginger. And I combine it into this. I need to throw this away though. And I'm going to drink the rest of my tea. But I'm low key kind of hungry. But I shouldn't eat because it's late. So I'm gonna drink my tea. I'm gonna go take a shower. And I'm gonna go to bed. I just finished my torts reading. And oh my gosh, it took me such a long time because I wasn't focused, but it's weird to get back in the swing of things for school when like, I haven't been in school for a couple of months, so it's definitely kind of weird. And to read, just read like a lot of pages, or at least a lot of pages for right now, but they're probably not a lot of pages, but um, I ordered a chair from Amazon because I want to get like a desk set up in this area that I'll show you guys tomorrow because I can't, I can't do my work on this stand, on this what is it called? Island behind me because I don't know. I just, I can't focus. I need like a desk type of situation since we're not going to be in person. But I ordered a chair and I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go get the desk tomorrow at Target. If I remember it. Or if I'm in the mood. <laughs> oh well. But I'm definitely going to be vlogging tomorrow my first day of class. And I'm excited for you guys to see. And I have like four pages of notes. There's a little bit of the notes that was like kind of confusing for me. And I'm just going to reread it. I don't know if it's because it was boring to me. That part. Or because I was just not paying attention. But I'm definitely going to reread it tomorrow morning just reading it not um writing down any notes so i definitely can read it faster because i have class tomorrow at 2 25 and that's my only class that i have tomorrow and then so i'm gonna wake up reread and then read my notes and then just in case i don't know he asks any questions i don't know how he's gonna conduct the first class and then i'm gonna go ahead and read because the next day i have a case that i had to um brief um let me know if you drink tea and let me know which tea you drink because I would love some tea recommendations. I drink, I drank the antioxidant one. I'm definitely a tea type of girl instead of a uh, coffee. But yeah, tea or coffee. Comment down below if you're bro if you're brave. Lola. Okay, the time has finally come, but um, this is my bed. I don't know if I really showed you guys with like pillows and stuff. I literally have six pillows on it plus this little pillow that I just added that was in my previous um apartment for college. I think for my first day of law school, I want to do a, a dress and a blazer. I know this must be a lot for some. Some might be thinking, whoa, that's too much, but I don't really have anything else to wear except sweats, and I don't want to wear sweats on the first day. I haven't told you guys this, but I suffer from like tonsillitis, 
I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically I have to like get surgery for it and I don't want to and it's really expensive so I'm not but like it, it's so annoying for my throat but anyways that's like the gist of my little thing that's complicated my life very much so and has given me like fevers and stuff but I just bought um, this thing this facial cleanser from CeraVe it's supposed to be like affordable skincare it's not well it was like ten dollars um, it's better than spending, I guess, like $80 on a cleanser, but this apparently has 10 out of 10. I used to use a salicylic acid one, but it literally um, dried out my skin, and I have sensitive skin, and CeraVe is supposed to be good for, like, um, sensitive skin, but this right here, it says it's accepted by the Eczema Association, and I found, I found that it's helped my eczema, so... Um, I've been using it and my eczema on my eyes have it oh well you can kind of see flakiness right there this is really up close and personal but if you see like the red ish type that's like my eczema and I should definitely try to hydrate cortisone so I think I'm gonna try that tonight on my eyes but I just it's a very sensitive area and there's not that much skin around the eye or at least that's what my doctor has said so I don't want to be putting it all the time but at the same time you can kind of see how it's like like glotchy if that makes sense because of my eczema but the hydrating thing has definitely helped it well that's enough of my spiel about eczema and how this is literally like something that i've faced all my life but the hydrocortisone has definitely helped my arms or whatever because i have eczema um like in the inside of my forearms i hope i said that correctly but i'm gonna go take a shower now do some skincare and then watch that memory thing and then i'm gonna go to bed and that's gonna be the end of my day of getting ready for law school and it's so weird because I wish I had my desk. I wish I, I don't know, I thought an island would be good, but it, it didn't end up being good. It's just so annoying. And yes, in my last video, I did have something in my teeth. And I was like, I'm not going to delete the clip. Like, that's like half of the vlog. So I was like, whatever. I've seen YouTubers plenty of times with food in their, food in their teeth. And that's kind of gross. So I'm sorry. But um, it's a learning process. And I literally told myself, I was like, wow. Okay, I don't like how I looked at a vlog at all. And my hair's crazy right now. But I was like, this is realistic, this is me, this is how I am, and I'm not perfect, and I don't have to look good, like, 10 out of 10 all the time. This is more, like, realistic, like, this is also for me to look in my future and be like, wow, who let you do this to yourself? And at the same time, to give advice and tips to as many people as possible, but at the same time, just being staying true to myself, so, um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go shower now. Okay, so I just finished taking a shower, doing some skincare. My cousin roasted me on Instagram. She was like, I don't think she said, or she said it in person. She was like, it's the not having eyebrows for me. And I, I know, I don't have eyebrows. There's nothing I do about it. But um, there's some redness here. I'm about to go to sleep and watch that video. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for my um, my day before law school. Like whatever whatever this is gonna end up be calling you guys will see by the time of the video but um i'm about to go to bed now and i just drank i finished my tea and i drank three cups of water because i don't drink that much water today and that's not good for your skin like right here i popped this area which is actually really bad for your skin and um i'm paying for it as you can see there's a little bit of scarring but i really want to get my skin like 10 out of 10 but i'm gonna have to stop picking at it and i think i just realized a solution to my problem so as i was saying that my skin like i have a salicylic acid because around my cheek area there's a lot of blackheads and so that's like super super annoying so um and i just bought the hydrating cleanser and i realized i could use a hydrating cleanser for my face but i can use a salicylic acid in my problem areas like hello i'm going to law school and um but so I have some left from my house and like a travel size and so I'm gonna use that on my cheek area because that's where like mostly where I'm back hits and like over here and so I'm gonna use it and then see what my how my skin reacts to it but I'm excited to start law school tomorrow it's gonna be interesting going back to school but I'm really excited to get my desk so I can like get in the zone if that makes sense I don't like sitting in my stool because my posture is actually horrid and um in the chair that I got I could like lean on the chair and in the stool I I, I always slouch and so my back is always hurting me and if anybody's going to law school this is basically what I'm doing to prepare and I'm excited um 
my casebook for contract law is supposed to come um next week but i'm really glad that my professors put the readings online so that you know students can read because it is annoying not being able to do the reading it is annoying that the textbooks are super super expensive but then again like what can they do they didn't make it so they don't pick the price but literally all like law school books are expensive and my biggest advice for people going to law school is to find a law school that's good for you and to save your money i have saved as much money as i possibly can and i could say that it has helped me being able to save some money ish but um i wish i had like thought of this like maybe like five or ten years before like right when i'm getting into college because i could have had a huge savings fund and um it would make me feel better about paying for these textbooks but there's always a will there when there's a will there's a way and um so far everything's good but thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and i'll see you guys in the next vlog